when feminists say, well, that's not what feminism is about, we expect them to prove that that's not what feminism is about, besides giving the dictionary definition. So, you know, if you're wanting... If you want me to believe that Sargon is actually on the left, that he is in the spirit of what it usually means to be on the left. Now, maybe that's some of the problem here, is judging, you know, what is the spirit of what is being on the left? Well, that's where the humor thing comes into place, okay? That's where I draw some conclusions out of, you know, just the way that he talks about things, the types of uh, humor that he has, what he finds funny, what he thinks is, is, is totally okay to make fun of in people, um, you're, you're wanting an example, I'll give an example, but, you know, it probably won't be good enough because you'll expect me to find the video, find the exact quote, and then prove that him laughing at those people is degrading to those people, right? But, uh... One that really got me pissed off at, at Sargon, because I'd seen the pattern of elsewhere, but this is the one that really pissed me off. And this is when I wrote off Sargon, is when he started to... Uh, he was laughing at the radical fairies. <laughs> Frolicking in the woods! <laughs> I think he laughed for a full fucking minute over that shit. It's like, dude, just... You know, it might be worded a little a little bit uh, strangely, but for you to just ridicule it quite like that, like it's just so outrageously ridiculous for someone to do that. But you know, now now I suppose I'm supposed to, you know, again find that that video and then prove that him laughing at them is him laughing at them, because I'm supposed to prove that one plus one equals two. Now, I'm, I'm getting, uh, uh, you know, how, how, is, how is Sargon destroying the left? By not offering enough constructive criticism of the left. And so very rarely having any sort of criticism at all of the right... Um, yeah, and then all the, 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 most of the fans end, end up being on the right... And those on the right use your words as, uh, as their weapons. It's it's time to change the way you 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 do things when you realize that it's that it's benefiting the right almost entirely, and there's so little benefit to the left um, that you're hurting the left. You know, if you can't see that it's time to to change maybe your narrative or maybe analyze the way that you break people apart or something. Figure out why it is that this stuff is, you know, bolstering the right and not helping the left in any way. If you're if you're if you're making it good for the right and you're not doing anything to make it good for the left, that is hurting the left because you know we have this polarized way that our system is it's a stupid two-party system because most of the time sargon is making videos about things that are happening in the states not always but a large percentage of his videos are knowing what the outcome of of his stuff is and he can still still continues to do things the same way and somehow expecting a different result or maybe he doesn't even expect a different result maybe he doesn't care about the result Someone like that, who doesn't care about the result, you know, if that's the case, um, yeah, that does a lot more damage than those that are even trying to, to cause damage. Because when you can see that someone's trying to cause damage, you can go, oh, well, this person's just doing this. But when someone makes it seem like they're trying to help, but all they do is cause damage, yeah, that's going to damage things worse. Let me guess, now I'm supposed to prove that uh, Sargon mainly makes fun of the, the left and doesn't say much about the right? 
will that be the next thing? Well, you're not going to listen to what I say until I prove that. Well, you know, the feminists need to prove that uh, what people say feminism is about isn't really what feminism is about. And they can't just bring out the dictionary definition to say, hey, you know, this, this, this says this, therefore, that's what feminism is. Kind of similar to how I, if people get upset when someone makes the... Uh, makes the claim that the majority of those in the men's rights movement are either right-wing or traditionalists. Oh, oh you, you, you need to prove this because Bain 666AU is, is a liberal. He's not, he's not a right-winger or a traditionalist. No, no, he's a liberal. Oh, that's news to me. Oh, you know, and, and then, and then within the same comments, uh, making it sound as though uh, libertarianism isn't mostly a right-wing uh, position. Yes, there are there are some uh, uh, libertarian socialists, and it, that's generally not what's being talked about when someone says libertarian. But the way that people will ridicule others shows their values. It shows your values, whether you want it to or not. Well, it doesn't. No, it shows your values. It's not. It's not saying that you're a terrible person because you you have these values. It's just saying those are your values. Um, I see a number of people that their values clash with what they say their values are. I I see it quite a bit. Um, I think everyone struggles with that to a degree. Some people, though, they're so far removed from what their own values are that it's just, it's, it's, it's almost terrifying to look at. I try very hard to make sure that the values I say I have are the values I have, but I'm not always accurate. I struggle with that a lot. And if I find that my real values differ than what my, uh, recollection or my in my own internal image of my values clashes then i need to either change uh the way that i look at my values or i need to find some way that allows me to change my values i need to question the right things i need to look into the right things in order to change my values but there are some people who are just so convinced that they're that the way that they look at their own values is correct i mean this is what allows people to spew some really awful stuff this is the same this is the same principle that allows those who say that they oh you know they believe in some sort of religion of peace can do in whichever religion wants to make that claim can do terrible things while they still while if you ask them their values they'll they'll say all these wonderful things well it's the same sort of thing this this applies to anyone no matter whether they're religious or not this applies to anyone now trying to figure out these things about people is not an exact science but there are times when you can just see that, that there is a blatant clash with what someone says their values are and what they actually push out. I mean, how, how is someone supposed to give enough proof for that for you to even look at it? Like, okay, for instance, the right wing, let's say when it was good, let's go to humor, okay? Typically, someone who has a right tilting mindset is going to feel that it's perfectly okay to make fun of someone for having an appearance that isn't, uh, what would you call that, uh, uh, isn't professional looking. Uh, looks like they make very little money. Anything that has to do with, it, with how much money someone makes, even if it's not appearance, it has to do with a judgment on being poor. Unless, unless the person is a redneck, and then and then you, then it's an element of uh, you get offended when anyone else says something negative about about a redneck. Now, on the 
flip side of things, since I've mentioned the redneck thing, that's one element of class that the left will tend to make fun of in their humor. The, the right, people, those on the right will tend to make fun of guys who aren't doing things that are manly enough. You know? For instance, someone who lives with their mother. Someone who uh, the dominant person in the relationship is the woman. You know, anything that is not mundane is, uh, you know, you're, you're supposed to ridicule it. That is not something that you typically find the left doing. The left, on the other hand, you know, will... They'll ridicule people for being too mundane. The left will ridicule someone for having that mindset of, uh, oh, duct tape will fix anything. You know, which is what leads into the whole uh, making fun of the redneck sort of thing, which I, I think is unfortunate. I don't think that's a good thing to, to make fun of. Um, but, you know, then all then again, all humor is making fun of something. So it's just an issue. It's, it's, a, it's an issue of, uh, you know, what are you going to make fun of? So um, some subjects are more sensitive than others, but uh, at the same time, I don't think any type of humor is, is really out of bounds. Some people are going to find it funny, what, whatever it is. Um, it's not to say that someone is bad, a bad person for finding a certain type of humor funny because you can always someone could always find something that you find funny to be offensive as well even the silly kind of stuff that's my favorite I, my favorite humor is the silly stuff the nonsensical stuff the stuff that makes you go, wait what you know, that's my favorite stuff um but there are some people who actually get offended at that well, well, well I, I don't know what's supposed to be funny about that. I, I don't understand. And they'll, they'll, they'll get all pissy about it. And it's just like, it, just calm down. It's, it's, just, it's just humor. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, no matter what, you know, all types of humor is making fun of something. A situation, uh, an accent, language, appearance, a class um behaviors and it doesn't have to even revolve around humans just just you know he, here's the thing if people who pay attention to the kinds of mindsets people have based off of the way they talk about things and their humor and things like that if we're supposed to give all this proof uh by searching through videos to find exact phrases that, you know, once I show what that phrase is or show what when uh, someone like Sargon laughed, uh, that it means what I'm saying it means um, on something that is, you know, is subjective because you can't, you can't prove someone's intention. You can assume someone's intention you can assume uh, what someone's mindset is. You can assume what someone meant, but you can't really prove it. I mean, are we going to put Sargon on some sort of lie detector tests? I mean, you know, I, I have, I'm making assertions that, that Sargon is a right-thinking, a right-wing thinking person. But if I'm supposed to con give an infinite amount of proof that Sargon is not really on the left because you have you have made the assertion that he is uh, why don't you give some proof why don't you give proof of this why don't you show him treating those that are on the left with you know without contempt why don't you show Sargon disliking the alt light, alt right, uh, the light version, you know, the the, the Milo Yiannopoulos, uh, Stephen Crowder uh, type of crowd. Yeah, how about showing something where he shows disapproval of that crowd? I I know that 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 he has shows disapproval 
of the uh, the original alt right, which are the act the the ones that you know the white nationalists and stuff. I, I understand that that he's spoken against them. How about speaking against the Milo Yiannopoulos, Stephen Crowder uh, type of crowd? Uh, Karen Strawn. Uh, uh, yeah. How about how about showing him stating negative things about that crowd? No, N nothing. You, you got nothing. Well, where's your you know where's your proof that uh, uh, that Sargon is liberal? Because those are my standards for what someone would have to do to prove that they're liberal. They have to actually show that they make liberal arguments outside of virtue signaling. So far, everything that, that, that Sargon has shoved forth about his liberalism is virtue signaling. You know, prove that it's not just virtue signaling. Him sending porn images to an alt-right group, the, the actual you know, truly racist uh, 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 Richard Spencer type of uh, uh, alt-right uh, is not proof that he's a liberal. You know, him stating that he supports uh, uh, unions, that's not proof that his actual mindset is liberal. I want you to prove to me that his mindset is liberal. Give me an example. You, pro you prove to me that he has a liberal mindset. Show me examples of him defending the left. Not just him making making virtue signaling statements where he says that he, uh, well, he supports this or that. No, no. I want to see proof that he defends the left and that he chastises the right and not just the ones who are uh, you know the, the 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 Richard Spencer types. I want to see him chastise the right, and I want to see him defend the left. If you can't offer that, then you don't have proof that meets my standards. So it kind of seems that we're we're at an impasse because you're going to tell me that my uh, my requirements for proof are unreasonable, and I'm going to tell you that your requirements for proof. Are you know, for, for me, is unreasonable as well. So we're both going to s claim that, th you know, what the other person is demanding is unreasonable. See, if, if you can prove that, if you can offer that kind of proof of, you know, Sargon actually, you know, giving defense of the left, defending those on the left, and stating negative things about the, you know, the whole uh, alt-light, alt-right, uh, Milo, Yiannopoulos, Stephen Crowder crowd, then I'll change my position. But you need to prove to me if, you know, that, that, he, that Sargon is actually on the left. You need to prove to me. And if you can't, then don't expect me to change my position.